Oh, me hearties, a very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and I thought I'd pop up to say hi to every single one of you, so come and join us. It's just coming up to a quarter past seven on Sunday morning, 7.15. So I thought uh, we'll have an early bird and see what's happening. Early bird a little bit later on the Sunday Obviously, early birds usually around six o'clock during the weekdays. So I thought to myself, we'll make it nice and uh, nice and uh, enjoyable to give people a few more minutes to lie in and to do some scrolling. Remember, you can scroll but never troll. Well, we never scroll and never troll after we've found Scotty McClue live on TikTok. That is the big one. That's what it's all about. So make a body to you and welcome, welcome, welcome. Now then, here's a, a half-witted idiot right away called Davy. So we'll say bye-bye to Davy because he's obviously some sort of nutcase. Davy, you must never assume everybody else has your lifestyle. So that's that. So we'll say cheerio to Davy. There's always one, isn't there, doesn't understand that you never, ever troll Scotty McClure. So that's the end of Davy. He has gone, and we shall never hear from him again. How marvellous is that? Right, there we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Now, lots of you coming and joining us. You're very, very welcome. Sunday morning, quarter past seven. Scotty McClure live on TikTok. What's not to like, I say? This is what it's all about. Good morning, good sir. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Yes, indeed. And a very good morning to you. And that is from Sold. Sold. Welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue's live TikTok just for you first thing on a Sunday morning. Uh, what have we got here? What have we die? The light at the end of the tunnel is the light on another hospital room. Well, I would imagine that happens. We very often may, if we are in extremis, a bit of Latin for you there, in extremis and about to pass from this world into the next, we may have a kind of slightly out-of-focus view of what's going on round about us. So not really a problem, that. It's a fresh morning in Kent today. I will bet you there's Pokemon saying, Morning, buddy. Morning to you, Pokemon. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue on Sunday morning. There we are. Who is Scotty and what's he all about? Scotty McClue is the world's top broadcaster. Hashtag float high, all uppercase, the first lord of the internet. I'm just about to celebrate 30 years of television, radio, newspaper, print, online, you name it. McClue has been there and done it, but with a lot more to do. So there are two billion people know Scotty McClue worldwide, so I'm probably one of the best known people in the world today. Apart from that, the world's most humble man. There we are. Poco, thank you very much for my beautiful gift of a CEO, a Chief Executive Officer. Good morning, Scotty. How are you today? Absolutely, Drewski. You're up and about sharp, Drewski. Is it not the middle of the night where you are? In fact, let me take six hours off. It must be just gone quarter past one in the morning. Am I right? <laughs> Good morning, Scotty. How are you? Fantastic stuff. Lovely to have you all with us. Follow me as soon as you come on. Very important to follow, follow, follow all the time. We have millions, literally millions, have watched the videos, and I doubt we've got 20,000 followers. So come on, guys. There we are. Now, what would you slide tackle a goth? I have done on many an occasion when we've been playing the goths. Yes, indeed. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very much appreciated. If you've just joined us for the first time, welcome to TikTok's Top Talk Show. There we are. Uh, proud of you, brother. Thank you very much. Very, very important. Now, who else have we got here? Yeah, buddies just joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say thank you to everyone who joined in the internet phone in on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel last night. That was outstanding. And it's still going. It's just amazing. Hello from Wales. Sorry about the rugby. Well, do you know, I was watching and um, it said something like, what was it? Um, 
And they, I don't know if they were talking about yesterday's game or another game, and they said that they were beaten, you know, the way words change uh, on the captions. And they said they were beaten by 54 pints. <laughs> Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very, very much appreciated. No, you'll never apologise for Wales winning the rugby, because we love Wales as well as Scotland. This very important land of my father's, where Celts, you see, there we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very much appreciated. You're watching Scotty McClue. And it's a Sunday morning pop-up live just for you on TikTok. We just got rid of a troll right at the start. Poor half-witted idiot. And he went straight down the swanny. You can't beat it, can you? It's beautiful stuff. Remember, you, once you've found Scotty McClue, you never, ever scroll. And, of course, you never, ever troll. Very, very important. Get your comments down because it's always good to hear from you. Tell me where you are watching and what you are up to. I think that's important as well. Thank you for following. Very, very kind of you. Thank you very much to Barney for following as well. I'm new here. How are you? Welcome, Chloe. I'm very well and I hope you are too. You're no longer new. You're part of us. And that is the most wonderful people in the world, the Scotty McClue TikTok community. Just for you saying dinky-doo. Chloe's in Stirling. We love Stirling. I set up your radio station 30 years ago, Central FM Radio. That was set up by me. Greetings from South Wales. We love you in South Wales. Are you down near Cardiff or Aberystwyth? Morning to you, Scott. Absolutely. Good morning to you, Gavin. Lovely to hear from you. Thank you for following Aster. Very, very much appreciated. And a big dinky do to you, I say. Who else have we got here? Lots and lots of likes. And uh, you can uh, tap, tap. I know it's early in the morning for you, but you can tap, 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 tap. One and a half thousand likes already. That's pretty good, isn't it? When we've just started. Has everybody followed Martha Titfield about 30 minutes from Cardiff? I know Martha, yes indeed. Uh, so I could say to you, Akida. Hello from Greenock. Hello, Paul. How lovely to have you with us. There we are. Borada in Camro. Yes, thank you. Yes, good morning from Wales. I say to you, Borada and Yakida. There we are. Fantastic stuff. I used to broadcast to a lot of Wales on the Century Radio. There we are. Huge. Absolutely massive. From Manchester. Oh, well, now we see. There we are. Take that jacket off just now and then you'll feel the benefit when you go out. Yes, indeed. Now, um, see these boots here? Whose shoes are they? <laughs> Uh, I think you live round the corner. Oh, we live round the corner from everyone, Nick. Obviously, that's part of it. But uh, we touch of the trolling there, but not too much for a lifetime ban. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, it's Scotty McClue saying a very, very good morning to you. And we're live on the TikTok, so do come and join us and let us know what you're up to and where you are from. Because we are worldwide international. Scotty McClue is an international icon. 2,700 likes, guys. Thank you very, very much for that. It's so much appreciated and a big dinky do. Do you know a DJ named James H. Reeve or Alan Bezik? Yes, I know them very well. Yes, I have replaced them on the radio when they've been away. Uh, so there you are, fantastic. And remember James H., what a great DJ. And Alan, of course, an absolute legend. There we go. Dinky Doo from Car Luke. We love Car Luke Drew. I know it very, very well. I used to run your radio station out there. Tremendous stuff. Now, who else have we got? Rich has joined us. Good morning, Rich. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, hashtag float high, all upper case. Fantastic. I'm tuned in from Leicester. Pokemon guy. Leicester in the morning. Leicester City Football Club. Outstanding, of course, as we know. And Leicester, am I not right? Yes, where you buried the old king they dug up in the car park at the supermarket. Yes, that's what it's about. Richard. Was it Richard the <laughs> Third? Oh, how amazing. 
is that welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, Scotty McClue, just for you, seeing Dinky Doo just popped up for a few minutes and to say hi. We'll do a little bit of tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Very, very important. Thank you for my likes. 2,800 likes. Now, that's not bad, is it? For first thing, it's 24 minutes past seven on Sunday morning. And we've got 3,000 likes. It's just hit the 3,000 as I speak. Is that not just wonderful? Scotty, did you ever sleep? Of course, I sleep all the time. There we are. I, I barely spend an hour a week. It's tremendous stuff. And we did love the phone-in last night. Outstanding. So there we are. But thank you, Trendy Hendy. Of course, I sleep. There we are. And sleep very, very well, I have to tell you. Now, I think it's time for a sip of water. If you can all get following, then I can get a wee sip of the fine aqua. Aha. Here we are here. The finest fine aqua. Mmm. Ooh, that's lush. It really is fantastic. Do come and join us. So lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. we're at 3,200 likes. You can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. Oh. Oh. Yes, why do you ask, do I ever sleep? I sleep like a puppy in its basket. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Now then, so much to talk about, so little time to do it in 25 minutes past seven. We're up for another five minutes. So I just wanted to say hi to every single one of you. You have an amazing stream. I'll catch you on the next one. Yes, do that, Pokemon. Fantastic. And get on and look at all the TikTok videos because they're all made for you with love and with dedication. So never miss a Scotty McClue TikTok video. Never miss a chance to follow Scotty McClue on TikTok. And of course, watch, like and share. Some of the videos are just 10 seconds. So everybody can spare Scotty McClue 10 seconds, for goodness sake, to watch the first Lord of the Internet. And I've uploaded a lot of new ones. Also, get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. You'll love that one. It's just called Scotty McClue, the Internet Phone-In, because we do a massive Internet Phone-In on a Saturday night at 9 o'clock. Morning from Yorkshire, says Paddy Parr. Aye, you're all right there, Paddy. That's it. Aye, from Yorkshire. We love it. Love Yorkshire. That's what it's about. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, now, let's ask him, does he read the Sun newspaper? Well, everybody reads the Sun newspaper. I used to write for the Sun about um, 25 years ago. There we are. Morning from Leyland. We love Leyland. Aye. Little Scotland, I call Leyland. The only other place that's more Scottish than Leyland is, uh, well, apart from Scotland, is uh, Corby. Corby in Northamptonshire is Little Scotland. Now we have our answer. There you are, Tony. Everybody reads them, but I read all the other newspapers as well. Although I've only written for about two others. So there we go. And uh, now we have our answer. Is that not just amazing? My granddad was the managing director for the Yorkshire Evening Post. Do you know, I love my Yorkshire Post and my Evening Post. Fantastic. I used to get up on a Saturday morning, think, Yorkshire Post Day. Now, is that not just amazing? You're all going, what can I live to you? Fantastic. Saturday morning, spent reading the Yorkshire Post. Love it. <laughs> God. There we are. What others, says Tony. I wrote for the Daily Record, which was the direct rival to the Sun newspaper at the time. And uh, I've obviously contributed to many, many newspapers, local and uh, national and international. So there we are. Little contributions, little mentions in the Telegraph and the Sunday Times. All these things, you know what I mean? Never a dull moment. Right wing, says Tony. No, I don't have any wing, as you know, Tony. I am a centralist. 
and um, I don't have any bias in me, so we don't do lefts and rights. The device, if you see. There we are, have it. Fantastic. And the record, of course, is pretty socialist, isn't it? It's well left of centre. So there you have your answer. Have you contributed to the press and journal? I think you've had a good few mentions in the PNG. Fantastic. Good man. So there you are, Tony, you see. That's what it's all about. I tend to tell the truth. Fantastic. Of course, I met some very, very, very fine journalists working for the tabloids because uh, these guys can get your whole story on a postage stamp. You know, amazing. So wonderful, wonderful. So let's not join the knocking the press. I mean, we've knocked the press out of the game at the moment. You know, people are not reading newspapers to the same extent. They don't have the time. It's as simple as that. So, so many uh, of our wonderful papers have gone online and we're missing many of the very, very fine journalists we used to actually buy the papers for. Good morning, Scotty from Edinburgh. We love it. The Albanator is in Edinburgh. Dinky do Albanator. How lovely to have you with us, Fair Edinburgh, Ken. There we are. Now, what have we got here? Uh, the Albanator, yes, indeed. Well, Tony, I can't mention a swear word on air, of course. Dinky do, la la. Uh, it's a bit dark, Bonnie lad, is it? Well, let's get a little bit more light. I need it a little bit dark so I can read you the um, everybody's messages, you see. So sometimes we have that, but we'll try and lighten it for you because my clue is all about lightening your darkness. Is that any better? Yes, how's that looking? Is that a bit lighter for you? We don't want it to be too dark. The problem is you'll rarely find unbiased journalism. Well, not necessarily, Sophie, if you put the two points of it. The only problem is, um, you know, newspapers aligned themselves with certain politics in the past, and therefore they employed the journalists to beef up that side of things. But uh, I think you need a good balance. All okay, bright enough, excellent stuff, Albinator. Good morning, Scotty, good morning. DJ, lovely to have you with us, DJ Reg. And thanks very much for your wonderful question. I hope you liked the answer. Very, very important. Très important, as we say en français. Uh, tu parles français, oui? Uh, fantastic. Now, who else have we got here? Come and follow me as soon as you come on, guys. Have you ever spot Scotty McClue? And uh, I'm a bit of a rare bud, so you might uh, have to go some to spot me around the internet because I'm only on TikTok and YouTube and Twitter and Reddit and Facebook Live and Getter and uh, what else am I on? All these things. Lights. How amazing. Is that and a big dinky? You, I say, unbiased journalism still exists in local papers. They can't afford to divide the audiences. I'm a journal. You are wonky and a very fine journal at that. Are you excited for Pancake Day, Scotty? I hear it'll be a flipping good time. <laughs> I see what you just did there. How excellent is that? Well, I'm looking forward to Ash Wednesday. I'll get my ashes. You see? So there we are. Fantastic. Dinky do. There's a, a guy calling himself Del Boy. I think it's been done already, Brian. So you'll have to think of another handle for yourself. There we are. Fantastic stuff. We liked Del Boy. What a star. Uh, do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Scotty, what are you giving up for Lent? Well, I'm giving up a lot of things for Lent. So I'm giving up sugar and I'm giving up a lot of um, high carbohydrates and I'm giving up, um, what am I giving up? I'm not giving up annoying people on the internet. That stays. Uh, good old Scotty up with the larks. What a legend. George, how lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Now, there we go. Who else have we got? Del Boy was class PMSL. Uh, giving up sugar. What's going on in your pancakes? No lemon and sugar. No, 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 no. We don't do that. Well, we might have lemon, 
I don't think lemon's got too much sugar in it, citrus, you know. It will have a little bit, but we could have a squeeze. You could always have a squeeze of lemon, I say. There we are, fantastic. What I sometimes do is boil up my lemons, just half them and give them a right good boiling and then cool the juice and drink it. And your body goes, whoa! <laughs> your badge has flipped the wrong way around, Scotty. Well, let me reflip it for you, dear boy, so that you can see what is on it. There we are. Now, let me see what's happening here. Right, with a bit of luck, my badge should be back flipped now. Can you read it now? Beachy, beachy. It's very, very, very generous and has sent me 50 tick. Talks, beachy, beachy. How can I say thank you to you? You're a very, 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 very generous man. Very kind of you. 50 beautiful TikToks as a present to Scotty McClure for popping up live. Another present I've just received. 4,000 likes. Is that not beautiful for a Sunday morning? Remember when you see Scotty McClure, you never scroll and you never troll. You stick with us for the lot. Because you'll get the chit-chat. That's better. Better, DJ Reg. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Have you tried lime juice on the pancakes? I like the lime juice. Very good for your skin. Cures the scurvy, I believe. That was the old uh, mariner's tale. Um, but, uh, no, I haven't. I shall try a little bit of lime juice. I like the lime juice, you see. Um, it's true. Scotty agrees with the phrase, use it or lose it, on the high streets. Oh, I'm... Is it true? Oh, absolutely, DJ. That goes for all things, even all your wonderful limbs and body parts. You know, you don't want to lose one, so you use them. Very, very important. You use them well, and you use them wisely. Yes, that's all the thing I have to say there. Scotty boy, when are the badges going on general sale? Well, we need to build up a really good following and become TikTok famous. And that's up to you guys. Good morning, Scotty from Lincolnshire. I love Lincolnshire. Oh, it's my delight on a Saturday night. Uh, very good, very good, I say to you. So there you go, DJ. Not a problem at all. Uh, is it time I wasn't here? For goodness sake, look at the time, guys. Thank you for all my lovely likes. We're at four and a half thousand. You guys must have tap, tap, tappity, tapped, tappity, tappity, tapped. I'll tell you what, we'll go when we've got 5,000. Can you please find and repost the ghostly tale? I might retell it, DJ, but not first thing this morning. I don't want anybody taking a sudden shock, you know. I phoned, uh, I phoned the uh, NHS helpline. And I said to the doctor, I said, I have terrible hiccups. He said, yes, a fright would cure that. So I've had a look at my latest gas bill. There we are. I could tell you that. Please retail it now. Retail the badge, wonky pint. Do you think they would sell like hot cakes? Scott O'Clary Dickie do. You know, I always keep a spare badge round the back of the hat just in case one breaks down. You see? There you are. How's that? How's that for McClure looking after you in a crisis? Yes, I look like a master baker with my hat round this way. Uh, does Madge like your badge? Oh, Madge thinks it's absolutely fadge. She loves it. Why are you up so early, Scotty? Well, I'm not up early. I'm always up at this time. I'm just streaming early. That's what it's about. Uh, here's a guy who's confessing. He's called... What's he called? Half Chunk. And he says he's an embarrassing old man. Now, Half Chunk, I think you're being hard on yourself. Yes, you can't help being old, Half Chunk. And if you're embarrassing, tell us why you think you're embarrassing. That's what we need to know. What are you embarrassed about? I pay a fiver for a pint. I can pay a fiver for a badge. Wonky pint. Are you not just amazing? Five pounds for a Scotty McClue badge. What do we think, guys? First thing on a Sunday morning. So sorry. Uh, you're embarrassed about being old half chunk. Yes, half chunk. Why are you embarrassed? You need to tell us more. 
but uh, were not really a confessional. I love your dizzy, Scotty. I've been in your stream a long time. Glad you're here. So lovely to have you with us. I could tell you that, Gucci. Maybe Age UK could help you out, my friend. Wonky Pint, that's a very good thing to help him out. Yes, indeed. Tell me your qualifications. I have so many letters after my name, I no longer put them down on paper because, uh, you know, it's too much. We could have an auction for the badges. There we are. Half Chunk UK, he says that he was only being sarcastic. And he says it's a stupendous use of sarcasm. So you're not actually old Half Chunk and you're not embarrassing. You were winding us all up. I see what you just did there. Well done, Half Chunk. I'll start the bidding at £10. Beachy, beachy. You've raised the bar pretty high there. Tell you 5,200 likes, guys. How lovely is that? Uh, can you all follow me, please? I think it's very brave of Haffy to confess. I'm proud. Yes, Haffy, we're very proud of you for confessing. You fess up, my boy. There we are. That's what it's about. Scotty has qualifications in Kuala research. Oh, we love the koalas. There we go. Uh, bidding, is it bigoted to use letters after your name? Well, I don't bother now because I don't really have anything to prove. If I'm doing a job application for a consultancy, then I might put them down so people can see the qualifications. But it's long. It, it looks like that. And my name looks like that, you see. So there we are. So I don't think it is. Claps for Haffy. Yes, let's give Haffy the clap. You're getting the clap, Haffy, for being very clever with your sarcasm, your stupendous sarcasm. There we are. Haffy, remember Digital Footprints, your full name's on your page as you troll. I don't think he was trolling, to be honest with you, Wonky. I think uh, he was just fessing up. He feels very guilty for being stupendous or stu stu stupid and or for being a stupend. Um, or any kind of end, and he feels embarrassed about the sarcasm. He feels embarrassed about his age. So I don't know that, uh, you know, uh, I think we need to cut the man a bit of slack. Do you think Russia will invade? Not in a million years, no. They wouldn't want to put themselves in that position. It's a PR exercise called saber-rattling. But uh, the, their foreign ministers and stuff are very experienced. Uh, no, no, you don't want to kick off. Mr. Putin's too smart for that. There we are. Remember, Scotty, you've had Stevie, the closet squeeze box, as a fan before. DJ, yes, is that you, Stevie? Fantastic. DJ, how wonderful is that? Uh, now that your voice is so calming, Scotty, I could be here all day. Gucci, you say the loveliest things. There we are. And we disembarrass that poor lad. What political party do you support? Well, I'm apolitical, you see. I don't bother with any of that stuff because I tend to tell the truth all the time. And that's not always popular with politicians. Uh, there we are. Our half is asking serious questions. He should know you're apolitical. Oh, yes, absolutely, he should know. He's maybe a bit new to the fold, you see. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. We're very, very busy this morning. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky, dinky do. Love a tune in the box. We bit early for a tune in the box. Yes, everybody else in the house is still asleep. So I might get the old uh, cold shoulder. I might get sent to Coventry. If I played the box just now. What's the alternative to a current political system in the country? Well, you see, we've not got a true political system. We're pretending it's democracy. But in actual fact, it's a mini dictatorship at the moment. Uh, you know, so there's not democracy going on at the moment, I can tell you. And they said we're being democratic, leaving Europe. Wrong, 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 wrong. Biggest act of self-harm, suiting the elite and the rich. They didn't want to get caught by the EU having to pay their tax. So they put a lot of pressure on Britain to get out. Britain got out and has harmed itself. 
probably beyond repair. And we had, I think, 7 million people dictating to almost 70 million people. You can't have democracy when you had well over 50 million Remainers. But you see, not everybody voted. Can you give us a rap about your badge? It's not a fadge. It is a badge. It says Dinky Do and Scotty McClue. Because that is all about what's for you to let you know I'm Dinky Do. That will do for now. Because I'm going to have a bat when I'm finished my rap. How's that, guys? Is that okay? I am adorning Sunday morning. I hear Scotty's favourite party is most likely a birthday party. Do let us know, Scotty. Yes, but not during the lockdown at Downing Street. I think he's a convert who came to confess about being old and fell in love with a badge. I think that's what's happened to poor old Haffy. What age are you, Haffy? Are you in your 80s? Some serious backhanders uh, manipulating the big boys from the back. Well, this is it, wonky pint. I mean, we've just had huge amounts of our money given away to friends of the government. Huge amounts. You know, and we've paid for all that. There's been a redistribution of wealth. They've taken our money. Yes, and remember, it will, the pandemic will be blamed, but Brexit is the big baddie. That's the one that's cost us the money. There we are. So you don't hear much of that from the Chancellor. Can we get a Pinocchio? Yes. I think what's going on in, in government at the moment is Pinocchio, Pinocchio. <laughs> All because a few strings have been pulled like Pinocchio. You guys, well done. I see what you just did there, Wonky. You guys still obsessed with me. I must have pushed a nerve. You consistently mentioned, no, no, half chunk. We look after people on here who come on damaged. And you came on damaged and all guns blazing and shouting and bawling the odds. And uh, you did attract attention. You were noticed. But now we're into healing you. So it's not an obsession. It's out of the goodness of our hearts. Are you with me? We like to look after the elderly. We know you're very embarrassed. We know that you're stupendously sarcastic. And we want to help. What's not to like? So there you are, Happy. So it's not an obsession, but I can see that obviously you're troubled by some sort of um, narcissistic psychosis as well. And you think everybody's obsessed with you and that the world spins on its axis around you. Newsflash. Uh, there we are. Uh, Half Chunk is a <laughs> something smoker. And it's all done for free. We do it for free. Today has been coming. I went to church. I had a nice lunch and now I'm listening to Scotty. Wow, Gucci. Tell us again where you are then. Uh, thank you for the attention. I was in desperate need. You were half chunk, but I don't think you quite realized the extent of desperation of your need. And we hopefully have soothed that. There we are. Sounds good, Scotty. What's on the cars today, La? Busy, busy, busy day today. Do you have any outdoor hobbies? I have many, many outdoor hobbies, Dave. I can tell you. I used to do a lot of rowing. And I put it on my CV and a prospective employer thought it was rowing because he knew I'd done quite a lot of rowing in the media, you know, that sort of thing. Well done, Scotty, my tribal chief. Absolutely. I am the head man. Morning, Scotty. Morning, Bobby. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Scotty McClue, just for you. I'm in Australia and it's 15 minutes to 7 p.m. So, evening time for you. You've been to church, you've had a lovely lunch, you've had a lovely day, and you're rounding off the day with Scotty McClue. So we're 24 hours different because we'll be, we're 15 to 8 o'clock in the morning because we're that hour different. We're on GMT. Yes, well done, Mr. Australia. I think half of you must recognize Scotty giving good attention on the phone lines. He was a fan, I think. 
Well, if he wasn't a fan before Wonky, he will be now. Because we, you, and everyone else watching, and me, have hewed him. First thing on a Sunday morning. You can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs, Wonky. I can tell you 7,100 likes for Scotty McClue. We'll do a few more minutes, guys. There we are. There's Beachy Beachy. That's amazing. I didn't know fans could talk, though they are used for ventilation of air. Oh, some of my biggest fans ventilate air. I can tell you. Nice vibes here. Great job, Scotty. Vegan living. We do our best. We like good vibes. First thing on a Sunday morning for every day to start the day filled with joy from the tips of the toes to the top of their head. That's what it's all about, I say. Thank you very much for your kindness, Vegan Living. Beachy Beachy is sending me more like 7,300 likes, guys. Is that not amazing? We, we'll go when we've got 10,000. What's for Scotty's breakfast? Don't tell NMD, but it's scrambled eggs on toast this morning. And I can't wait. That's my reward for having the privilege of being with all of you. I say that was fantastic. Bro, scroll up, Scotty. I wrote you a rap. Oh, wow. You've written me a rap. Uh, so there we are. I have to look for my rap. What have we got here? I can't see my rap. Yes. I can't see my rap. I'll have to look for it. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, wheat bangs. Yes, I think we'll start off with the wheat bangs. There we are. Late plate of wheat bangs. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Bit early. Is it no, Scotty boy? It might be early for you, uh, but it's not early for me, John. No, 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 no. I'm streaming early. But I'm always around at this time. Uh, your defer munch, uh, there we are. Time ticker. So what have we got there? Can't see your wrap. I think it's best you look at the supermarket there, do tortilla wraps. <laughs> I see what you just did there. Very, very good. Scotty, how far is Wonky's head up your behind? Half chunk. I think you're not understanding. Wonky just happens to be yet another top man. So there's no heads anywhere. There's no blowing smoke. This is a place for top, top people in intelligence terms. That's why you've been sent along to discover us. And now that you've made a complete and utter fool of yourself, that will change in the future. And we will bring out your IQ, your intelligence quotient, because I'm sure you're not as daft as you make out. There we are. Fantastic. Half chunk with adhering to social distancing, says Wonky. Indeed. So there you are. That's what it's all about. You see, when you've been around as long as McClure, you do attract a few genuine fans. And what you've got to do, half chunk, is learn the ropes. Yes. Keep your two meters. Well, I have two meters. I've got gas and electric. So there we are. And I try to distance myself from them as much as possible. Uh, that's what's going on there, I can tell you. Uh, vegan living, how lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Guys, I'm only here for another eight minutes. Then we must go. We must go. We must go. Why are you talking about Moscow? Uh, uh, yes, indeed. Private, private. Remember to top them up, Scotty. Other shops are available. Oh, absolutely. Keep your meters topped up. I measure it with a meter stick. See what I just did there? Now, please stay for longer. Oh, half chunk. No, no, no. Half chunk's loving the learning curve. A steep learning curve for you, chunky boy. But very good for you. Sorry, half chunky boy. There we are. But we'll turn you into a full chunk. There we are. Ghost story tonight. Well, you never know your luck, you see. I might tell one. I don't want to tell one first thing in the morning because people might have high or low blood pressure and get a wee bit of a fright. Okay, Haffy, don't you worry, lad. There's over 1,000 videos of Scotty on YouTube. Two and a half thousand, to be honest with you. There we are now. Wonky Pint, if you'd known all about Scotty McClure, you would know that. 
There we are. Who have we got here? Do they still make Highland toffee? I hope so. There we are. Treat Chunky to some squeeze box. Uh, too early for the squeeze box. The house are still asleep. Yes, I would get my head in my hands. <laughs> Morning, pal. Hope you're well. Lovely to have you with us, Jock. And thank you do. Random question. What's your favourite song, Scotty? My favourite song of all time. My favourite song of all time. Wow, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I think it's probably Buns, My Love Is Like a Red Red Rose, sung by Kenneth McKellar. Now, I want every single one of you human beings, well-behaved outsiders in the animal kingdom, to go on to YouTube, to go to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, Scotty McClue, the internet phone in, subscribe and tap the bell for your notifications. And then I think you should, while you're on YouTube, put in Kenneth McKellar, My Love Is Like a Red Red Rose, and just listen for Valentine's Day. Have you seen my Valentine's present? Oh, is that not beautiful, guys? So they're all being distributed. Yes, they're in the holding vase at the moment. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? What about that? Oh, my goodness me. Now, what have we got here? Lots and lots of different things happening here, guys. Um, random question. Oh, yes, we've just done that one. Are three visually impaired mice still sleeping in the hole in the wall? Yes, three visually impaired mice. See how they run. Uh, it's taken a while for McClue Towers to wake up. Is the butler awake? Butler's awake at five. If McClue's awake, the butler's awake. Did you ever see the madness of King George the Third? Poor love. And um, he was very ill. He wasn't mad. He was actually very ill. They could have cured him nowadays. And um, he said, come on, everybody up. The king's up. You're up. <laughs> Are you a Daniel O'Donnell fan? A huge Daniel O'Donnell fan. I've appeared on national television with Daniel O'Donnell. Fantastic. Wonderful. Scotty the bunny. Dinky do. Uh, so who have we got here? Oh, the meaning of life is maths. Quite right, too. Morning, Scotty. Thank you, dear. Remember, you never give anything like that out on air, Stephen. That's your private medical history. There we are. Who have we got? I don't have anyone for Valentine's Day. I've organized a huge dinner with my extended family. Gucci. Yes, everybody on here thinks you're wonderful. You have millions of Valentines. That's what it's about. What part of Scotland are you from? From the West Coast. There we are. Scotty the Bunnet. How fantastic. Can you fly fish? I can, but I don't do it. But I learned how to cast with a split cane rod from a very famous Glasgow fishing rod supplier. There we are. Stephen was not asking. He was asking about, oh, there we are. We should all have holidays. Yes. Absolutely. And my granny's from Isla. Ah, I think Scotty should go big time and go to Times Square. Yes, we might do the Hogmanay bash from Times Square. We couldn't do it because they were all absolutely covered. You flatter me, Scotty. You're always making my day so much better. Not at all, Gucci. I'm just telling you the facts. There we are. So you have... Millions of Valentines watching right now. That's what it's about, guys. We've only got two minutes, two more minutes. We're at 11,300 likes. I said I would go when we hit the 10,000 mark. Thank you to all you beautiful people. Thank you for following me. Thank you for the TikTok lives. Lovely, lovely. Thank you for all the presents. For me, it's great. Your mouth. I love your mouth. Yes, indeed. There we are. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for following us, Ross. Uh, wonderful stuff. Ross and Connor. Uh, have you been to Isle or Isla? I know Isla very, very well. Beaumont and uh, Port de Haven. 
and I know a I know a Port Ellen as well because the boat used to come in at West Loch Tarbot, and that's where my family were from. Yes, West Loch Tarbot, one side, Glenderool, the other one. So there we are. Everybody says they are provocations. Yeah, you are. You're certainly provoking a few things on here. I can tell you that, won't you? Favourite food? Favourite food? My favourite food? Probably fish and chips, if I'm honest about it. Mince and tatties, haggis and neeps, all these things, steam pudding and custard. I'm very busy next week, but I can't wait to your next live until we meet again. Gucci, until we meet again, sir, I salute you. My family's from Port Charlotte. My great-granny was the teacher in the schoolhouse in the 1930s. My great-great-great-grandfather was the first dominee on Dura. And look up, have you heard of Bessie Williamson? If you haven't, look up Bessie Williamson. Yes, my cousin and her were great friends. There you are, wonderful lady. They teach her train together, and then Bessie applied to do some bookkeeping in a distillery in Isla, and I believe she ended up owning the distillery. My family, yes, indeed, we love Isla. And uh, do you know Bo Moore at all? I can remember, does anybody remember the bear at the front door in the Port Ellen Hotel? There's a good test for you. <clears throat> what was the name of McBrain's boat? Or give me one of one of two or three names that used to go from West Loch Tarbert to Isla. Uh, so there you are. You need to tell us. Did you go into Port Askig, I think? Uh, quarter past nine, half past ten is my favourite pastime. I see what you just did there. I love it. Can you say good luck to my friend Tristan? He's a long flight today. I can, Alex. Good luck, Tristan. Yes, I know Bo Moore, but not incredibly well. I don't think anybody knows Bo Moore incredibly well, even the Bo Moore people. There we are. Goodbye, Song Scotty. Yes, Beachy Beachy. Are we ready, guys? All together, join in. <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheery oh beachy beachy and vegan. Thank you for sending me wonderful TikTok gifts. You're very, very kind and very, very generous. And it's very much appreciated. Guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Love being you. It's a great thing to be. Thank you for 11,800 likes. And remember to stay fabulous. Happy Sunday. Dinky-doo. Taralas.